It's Monday morning and we're on episode 27 of the Dairy Girl Diaries. If you watched my video from last week, um, you'd have seen that I was doing topsoil around the garden, spreading some gravel. We're a little bit short, so this morning I'm back in Cabelco just to get a couple of tractor loads um, along to finish it off. Finish spreading the soil and that'll be me done there. I've got like three, four different four different jobs now I need to finish and there's three different machines at different jobs that I need to finish and then I need a digger for one other job to finish and everyone's getting on at me now so oh, it's gonna be one of them weeks. <laughs> Just a wee tractor and trailer today, um, Graham is actually a way up the Glen in the Hyundai today fixing the road up there so just this wee one because we'll only do a couple loads and then hopefully that'll be it done. It gets the job done, right? I'm so jealous of Graham being away up the Glen. That's like my favourite place ever. He's like, no signal, away up there. Great views, just chilling out. Living the dream. And just like that, I am back to finish this little bit. I'm back in the Kubota. Um, so I'm just gonna move them stones up the top there. All the soil on this bike here. Spread the rest of the gravel. Job done. I got given a gift. Let's get into it and see what it is. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Sick. Does anyone know what these are for? Let's see. Dad was trying to get into the parcel there and I, <laughs> I sent my way. He was desperate to get it opened. For those of you that don't know what they are, they're track claws. You put them on the tracks to get extra grip when you're climbing up the hill. Um, I got sent these by Hetek. They're from Germany. And there's a picture here actually of showing you what they're like. So if you see it there, they've got, they go on top. So it's, it's when you're like, we're up the like wet Scottish hills or whatever. So they dig in more to get more bite to climb up the hills basically. Such a good idea. We had them before on our eight ton Hitachi. Um, I actually got these ones for the Kubota. So let's hope they fit. I'm not gonna fit them tonight cause it is like seven o'clock at night, but I'm gonna fit them soon to it and see how we get on with them. They're dead simple. You just unscrew that there, clip them on and then bolt them back together. If I've measured the right size. Thanks Hectic for sending them over to me. There they are there. I can't wait to get them on and try them out, especially on that new six ton machine because that six, six ton Kubota is something else anyway. So I think this is, this is literally going to climb mountains with these on. Let's take one and go in to the Kubota and see if I've got the, the right size. Moment of truth. Yes, I think they'll fit perfectly if I clean the mud out over there. 
Where's a clean one? Here's a clean one. Perfecto. So that's what they're going to look like. Obviously, you unbolt that, loosen them off, put them back and bolt that up. They are going to be ideal for... I'm probably not there because it's quite dry, but like really wet, marshy bits. Nice colour too. They'll definitely stand out. So yeah, that's my day over. Um, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Let's appreciate this view. How stunning. It's Tuesday morning and today is my job of tidying up this big hole. So this is where we took the soil from. So I'm just going to tidy it up and just slope it back down. Take a bit behind the containers as well to give just a little bit more room. That's most of the hard stuff dug out. So I'm going to put the ditching on the tilly bucket to tidy it all up. That's my plan anyway. Right, that's me all finished that now. Um, done the best I could have pulled it down a little bit. Even levelled it out a bit and down that way. Give some a good... I don't know, probably three, four metres extra behind the containers here. So he'll just, I left it quite square because he's going to push them right back and set the containers on there eventually as well. Not only did we use soil, we got a bit more room in his yard down here, so that's good. My dad just phoned me to tell me that um, his soles fallen off his boots, so I need to go and get him new boots if I was, if I was done early enough. He usually wears Mendel's like chainsaw boots, but I won't get them, them anywhere local, but he's desperate for a pair, so I'll go and see what I can get him. I feel like getting a pair of them just to take the absolute royal <laughs> out of them. <laughs> do you think I should do it just for the crack? I think I'll go for these ones here because they're kind of like the style of the lights going up the eye so you don't go over it. You obviously won't be good as Mendel's but they'll get them by just now. Got them. That'll hopefully keep them happy. Now I've got to go and bloody... You can come meet me with them. I'm not going all the way out to his with them. <laughs> right, I'll either end up coming out to the yard because um, <clears throat> I need to get this trailer. I was just trying to decide what I'm doing tomorrow so i'm gonna go well graham's obviously out of signal because he's working for us this week um our hitachi is away in job so i'm gonna use this and hopefully get graham's digger his wee to kitchen to finish off that water pipe so i'm just gonna put hook this up and oh yeah melks has come to meet me too to get the grill for the scanny which has been down at their yard since whatever episode it was i went down there to pick it up just before plant works honestly there's too much going on at the moment Let's get this on. Here he is. The big yoke. <laughs> what present you got for me today? Eh? What present you got for me today? Uh, Show me. It. Any sweeties? <laughs> Where is she? Yeah. I thought you were going to have in your bed special delivery for me. Yeah. What is it? A grill. What for? Your yolk. Is it painted? I don't, I don't think so. I think it is. Well, the other part is. I'll just sit and record you. You can just do the work. Here. That was a big load you took up from Glasgow. <laughs> We, uh, you need the five axle trailer just for that, was it? Aye, boy. <laughs> so, see, I know all the right people. You don't get that, do you? <laughs> you tell them. When am I getting to come out with you? Whatever. Would we all handle this big yoke? Would you trust me? You were better with three axles. <laughs> Two axle. <laughs> <laughs> Working truck, you'll better get in the shape for next weekend, boy. I think you're coming, boy. You're coming <laughs> clean. I actually am going to truck face Scotland with the Melix boys. <laughs> oh, you're a sun boy. Thank you.
Yeah. He's a good egg. Even got me a digger for tomorrow. That's what you get though for trying to get away early, earlier on. <laughs> You're caught. Ten minutes. Caught. Ten minutes. Trying to leave the job at half four. No. That's not how it works. With only one plan, Graham. Four five. <laughs> now it's quarter to eight and you're still going strong. You're done open the table. The boys are busy at the silage and there's our track we've done up here. Can't even see it. We we'll call it a day after this, so we shall see you guys tomorrow. It's Wednesday morning and we've got three machines of our own that I could be in. But I'm having to go in Graham today to finish up this little job here. Um, I was going to take a six ton in, but the lorry's played up. It's going into the garage on Friday. There's something not right with it, so I didn't want to take the six ton. I wanted to take the lorry out the yard. So hey, let's get the job done. Tidy old coochie. Can't find where to turn the revs up in this thing. This is an old machine for me. But it's the same way you jump in any machine trying to find. It's got to be here somewhere. Where are they? So what I'm going to do here is extend the track along a little bit, probably just behind the machine here. And then I'll put the boundary box in and tidy this hole up. And that'll be this section done. There we go, that's it all dug in. I'm just gonna leave like a little gap round here um because I want to make I want to get Graham and or Dad to make sure that's pushed home because they are really tricky to get in and if I backfill it then it's gonna be more hassle. So I'll let them double check it. I've got to do it between the tractors coming back and forth because they're um, doing the silage, so probably take a bit longer than I'd like, but at least that's another job done. There we are, that's all back filled. Done not bad considering I don't have a tilting as well I'm used to, but it proves that I still can use a normal bucket. Leaving that hole there to tighten that bit up. Um, let's go load this up and go on to the next job. I just love seeing that. On to the next. Right, where I want to go is just up here on the left and there's a car that's actually parked there. They've been well warned not to park there because they keep in, in, like, interrupting and disturbing the farm traffic. So I'm going to have to try and squeeze up the side of them. I know I'm so close there but should be parked there. There's signs telling them. the videos on Facebook and like social media of the farmers just getting their cars and like picking them up and like pushing them out of the way. Like I don't blame the farmers, they've got a job to be doing, they've got animals to be feeding, they've got stuff to do. If they're going to be parking in silly places like that, why not, you know? Anyways, here's the last little bit I've just got back fill and then this is then completely done of digging, digging, digger work, um, thankfully. Longest water track in history. Hey, that's me all done. I need to come back and tighten up them two little bits here, but I'll probably come back along later and just get them done. Um, I feel absolutely terrible, but <clears throat> we move. Morning, it's Thursday morning. Um, I feel absolutely bloody terrible. I feel so ill. This morning I'm taking the, ga the lorry into the garage. There's something wrong with the clutches. Back, um, Axel won't lift either. I don't know what's going on. I, that's obviously there's two different things going on, like, and I'll also need to get inspection as well. So I'm going to load up my pickup in the back, <sighs> try to get enough energy to do so, and um, take this into the garage. Hopefully, I don't break down in the way. 
Been really long. I don't know if it is because I know I've got so much to do before Truck Fest Scotland's next weekend, and I'm looking forward to that. But I've also got so much to do before then. This has probably been the longest week in a while. One done, one to go. Let's go. We made it. Just. Well, there was a lot of stop and start traffic coming through town there, and I didn't think we were going to get away at some points. <laughs> Thankfully, we did. Now, let's get this off. This yard is rammed. Right, I'm back in the office now. Got a wee helper. <laughs> We've got a new printer because our one's packed in, so I'm going to set that up. And got a big pile of rubbish to get through. So, you're going to help me tidy up? Yeah? Good girl. <laughs> it's Friday morning and it's a bit different today because I am at home. Say hi. <laughs> I'm just doing some invoice and they're just chilling out and today I'm going to let them pick the day, have, their, have the phone and film me so you can see a bit of family life as well, it just works. <laughs> okay, so we've got to go, what we've got to do early today, what, where are we going just now? Pick Dougal up, who's Dougal? Dougal, who's Dougal? Granny, Dodie and Papa's dog, they're going to wait for the weekend so we're going to go dog sitting aren't we? So we're going to take him up and take him home. And Ellie's so excited about this because um, she loves Dougal to bits, don't you babe? Yeah, what are we going to do after? Yeah, we need to train Dougal with Jessica. You want to go swimming? Yeah. In, the, in the loch? In the sea? Yeah. Where are we going? Yeah. Okay. Will I phone and see if we can book in there? We're putting one blanket and, and one butterfly. And two walks a day. My boy. That was Ellie's idea. It wasn't. <laughs> we should through and show everyone the view. Good choice, guys. What a way to spend our day off. Yeah? Is it cosy? Look at that view. Oh, it's very cosy. You're going to be freezing going in the pool after this. <laughs> Good fun. Is it cold? No. Are you sure? <laughs> it looks freezing, Ellie. Really. No? Hey Johnny, you jump in and show me how cold it is. Hey Lou! That is freezing! At least we've got the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> Be careful. Less chatting, mister. Oh. 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 You made it. Just put me to sleep. Mummy. Mm. 
Is it easy for you, missus? Yeah. What are we doing now? Going to the beach. What for? For dinner. For dinner? And take the dogs a walk? Doogie and Dippy. <laughs> I knew it would be long before you'd have mentioned that. Is that your dagger? No, that's your cousin's. Are we nearly there yet? Have you got hungry bellies? Yeah. Yeah. Whole beach yourselves almost, Ellie. Come on. We don't worry, we all have the same mount on. Yeah, I'm going to eat it all up. Step on. Come here. Mummy, you have the same long step on, it's just like that. Yeah. Did you get a fork in your juice? No. And that sums up another week. Thank you for the likes, comments, and the subscriptions. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, the matches are bad. Oh, here comes the boss just in time. <laughs> Come on and see them then. <laughs> Come see them. Come here. The cameras are off. <laughs>